If you watched the previous episode, then you know I screwed up a bit while doing many to many relationship. Since I don't want to deal with that mistake throughout this course, I will show you how to correct that in this quick episode. Gena Petrov, I think that's your name. If you're watching this, I'm also going to show you how to create inverse relation between products and categories. So keep an eye out. That's about the question that you left on my previous video. So the problem is mainly that I had a brain fart during the last episode and I called this field right here product categories instead of just uh, categories or category. Uh, and just as the inverse relation should be called product or products, not product categories or products categories or something like that. So now we are going to fix that. Uh, one more thing that this caused is if, if you go to the data model, uh, here, uh, you can see that we have product categories, product categories one, product categories two, uh, that kind of sucks. And that this happened because I tried to fix it, didn't delete those fields and so on. So now we have this situation, at least on my side. So how, how are we going to fix that? Well, first of all, I'm going to delete all of these. So I'm just going to go here, delete this collection, delete this collection delete uh, this collection. Great. Now we have categories, posts and products. We go to products. And as you can already see product categories is already gone. So I want to create a new field and I'm going to create it in advanced mode. So I'm just going to click here, click on many to many relationship. And I'm going to call this field category. You can also call it categories if you are expecting that your products are going to be in multiple categories, which way which they can already do since this is a many to many relationship. But I want my products to be in only one category. So I'm going to call this uh, just category. Okay, great. Now for the relationship part. All right. So we have this junction collection, which is not filled out yet, uh, because we didn't choose the related collection. So I'm just going to click here, click on categories. And now all of this is already filled out for us. And uh, like I mentioned at the beginning for Gena Petrov, if you want to create an inverse relationship, you just click on this. And as you can see, the product name, uh, the actually the field name is already called product. So directors knows how to name this field. And uh, we are going to uh, leave this as is go to field. That's okay. Interface, we're going to choose many to many. Uh, and it says right here, you can configure the display template after creating this field. So we are going to wait a bit for that display is okay. Conditions is okay. So I'm just going to press this. Great. Now, once this is created, I'm going to go to interface again, and now choose a display template for our products. And this display template is going to be categories and category name. Great. Save it. Okay. Now we have this set up. And if I go right here to the content, uh, we are going to go to products. Since we changed the name for our category field, we need to add all of the categories again. So for the head, we are going to add existing heads. Okay, so for the t-shirt, we're going to choose a t-shirt. And for the mug, we're going to choose mugs. One thing that you can see right here, if I choose the category it doesn't show up for some reason, that's probably a bug. So I'm just going to save this. And if you click add it again, you will get mugs here. So it actually works but it's just a bit buggy. Okay, now that we did this, of course, if we go to our e commerce site right now and try to refresh it, uh, we will get nothing, we will get an error. Well, first thing we need to do, we need to go to permissions. So roles and permissions go to public. And uh, now we have just one product categories, which direct is created on its own. And I'm just going to turn it on here for all access. Of course, this still isn't going to work because our code is not uh, good for this setup. So I'm just going to go to PHP storm. And right here in, in our homepage queries. Uh, so let me just try to update this introspection. 
So if I click update the local schema by running introspection and save this file, now you can see that product categories and categories ID is in red because we don't have those fields right here. We have products categories, but we don't have product categories. So instead of that, I'm just going to say category. And now this is okay. Of course, if I save this, check it out in my browser, this still isn't going to work because uh, product categories does not exist in our index.js file. So we need to go there. And instead of doing product, product categories, we are just going to go and do product category and just choose the first category that's in here. That's what this zero stands for. Save it, go to our browser, try to refresh it, and now it works. Great. Okay, so this has been it for this quick fix video. I remember everything we did here will be available for you on GitHub. The link will be in the description below. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.